Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So a bit unusual weather for November time, quite fresh and yet sunny. So behind, I've just put the bale trailer on. We'll whip up to the field and go and grab some bales, just with the front loader and bring them back to the yard. The trailer always makes a big banging noise when it's empty. When it's full up straw, it's not so bad. You need to get some weight on the trailer. read all of your comments from yesterday's video. I think the top comment was uh, if you could decorate the Defender for Christmas. So we'll try and we'll try and make that happen. Put some tinsel on that, which will be a bit of fun. We'll keep doing the challenges. So uh, if you could give this video a thumbs up, hugely appreciated. Okay. You've got to be careful when you come back from the bale so you don't tear the other one as you put, it, put that bale in, if that makes sense. Thankfully, because they've been baled tight, it's actually kept the water out of them fairly well. Better than usual, actually days like this when it's sunny in winter I almost I almost prefer to summer because it's just that little bit colder it's not humid and stuffy like it is in summer in England here in the UK we've got all of our bales on the bottom layer I've just got to fill up the top I'll probably put one row just down the middle and then that will do that trailer and then we'll start using those bales off that trailer to feed some cattle and bed animals down as well we have got this sun visor at the front I can use to just keep the sun out a little bit but sunglasses are better. So we've had some questions recently on the channel about what's happening in farming at the moment and is it a good time to get into farming it is a difficult one to answer at the moment because things are so uncertain it's difficult to get parts, it's difficult to obtain new machinery at the moment and crop prices you know they're going up as well so maybe next year it won't be such a bad time to be in farming because the crop prices are gradually coming up to correspond with the rising costs so maybe it's not such a bad time to be in farming. We'll just have to see what the future holds. And like with many things in life, if you stick at it, generally you can reap, you can reap a reward of some sort. The land prices are going up, wheat prices are going up, um, oilseed rape's gone up a hell of a lot. Maybe one day the people of the UK will realise that they need farmers and help farmers out. Maybe. But at the moment there's so many people going out of business there's so many people who work for farmers or in a farming community who are just leaving farming for other jobs. You know, which is understandable because it is a little bit uncertain at the moment in farming. You want a job which is future-proof. The biggest problem really farming here in this country is the, the costs of everything. In the UK everything is very expensive for the farmers. If you could reduce those costs somehow it would be a bit more viable. My old man's always told me in life you just have to stick at things and you know one day it'll pay off. Rome wasn't built in a day. We and oh no <laughs> I've missed I've missed the bail in the back. Right well we've just fully loaded there now we've got the bales on the back. Unfortunately the sun is really glaring off the tractor today, off the bales as well. So it is an interesting time at the moment being in farming and things could get worse or they could get better. I think as long as we can ride out the storm and just see where things are going. A lot of, a lot of farmers I sp I'm speaking to at the moment are uh, saying that they're you know, buckling down for the next five years and not spending any money on equipment or machinery or buildings. They're just playing it safe for now and that's a good, I think that's a really good thing to do. This is the only trouble when I come back to the yard is there's always stuff everywhere, bales and trailers and stuff, and I, I need somewhere to put this trailer. Come on, you on there. Well, it's a bit later in the day now, and hopefully you can see these are the bales we've got in. We'll use these over the rest of the week, and then wet, uh, Thursday, I've got the muck there, which that's got to be taken out. We'll go 
around the cattle yards, get rid of a load of muck, a few loads. And then tomorrow there's something up with the Defender at the moment. Just the brakes are a little bit wearing down. So I've got to take it to a place in Norwich, JLR, JRL, Land Rover, something like that. Anyway, we are going to take it to this specialist. They're not a dealership, but they're a Land Rover specialist and we'll try and get that Defender serviced and fixed. I think it is also coming up for a service. And then as a lot of you guys said last time in the previous video, we'll try and decorate the Land Rover for Christmas. It's a bit of a shame that we couldn't do the 135, but that will be here at the start of next year. So maybe we'll do an Easter theme for that when we get it back on later in the year. And keep giving these videos a thumbs up, put a challenge in the comment section and we'll do the challenge in future videos, which will be fun. So the current one is uh, getting the Defender all sort of uh, tinsely for Christmas. So thanks for watching today's video. It's a lovely, well, sun's just going down now. Not as warm as it was earlier with the sun out, although not a bad time of the year nonetheless. So you can see uh, I've got my hoodie on now. It is going chilly and we are probably gonna get, start getting some frosts. I did hear as well, we've got some minus 15 weather coming in in the next few weeks. So if it is snowy, it'll be nice to be out and about the Defender and um, pulling people out of ditches probably and all that sort of thing when they get stuck in the snow. So enjoy your day, whatever you're up to. Give this video a thumbs up, keep liking, keep subscribing and I will catch you on the next one.